Uh, hey guys, Volta Chair. Um, got another tutorial. Um, this time I'm going to be teaching you how to use multiple MIDI channels um, from one instrument. So you can see, for instance, here, um, I've got a, a, a VST instrument here called Edural Orchestral. Um, and as you can see, down here there is multiple different instruments that you can select from now i also know hypersonic hypersonic 2 um i think full harmonic orchestra it's been such a long time since i've used that but um especially a lot of the or orchestra related um plugins do have multiple midi channels where you can choose your instrument and that one instrument can control every single one of these um, now, I've had a, uh, a lot of friends and stuff that um, have actually asked how I did it, and a lot of people didn't believe that I actually wrote um, the orchestral piece and think I've ripped the sample and stuff. But no, I haven't. I actually pieced it all out. It all initially started from a organ, um, church organ-based melody that I had for a kind of scary-themed song. And then after that... Uh, add a bit more um energy and darkness to the to the score i guess the composition i um decided to put in an orchestra piece so the orchestra has always been the uh, choice for me whenever it comes to um orchestra strings and things like that because it's just so small lightweight and real quick and easy and just with some nice eq and stuff you can get really nice sound out of it i don't need anything too huge like you'll find a lot of the east west and you know some phonic orchestras and stuff are gigantic for like 20 gigs 30 gigs 60 gigs plus this here it's like i think it's like a hundred and something meg so it's sweet anyway um so yeah a lot, a lot of a lot of friends and stuff uh, have been using this and i always see them do the same thing now a lot of orchestra um, they'll change this one here to whatever instrument they want um, and then when they want a new orchestra instrument they'll make an, a new instance of orchestral and then they'll change this to whatever it is now um, yeah like it, you can do that I guess if you really want but um, I just always found it easier just to use the one one instance and then within piano roll you can actually choose the different instruments so this is how you do it so you go into um orchestra, uh, the sorry the piano roll now you notice that at the top here the first instrument is flute vibrato which is on midi channel one so by default the first whenever you whoops Whenever you put in a uh, note or anything into FL Studio, you'll always notice that this is green, and that's because that's MIDI channel 1. So, to change to a different sound, all you do is you click on here, it's really simple, and you just select which one you want. Now, you'll notice up here, it's telling you which MIDI channel you're selecting, so 7, 8, 9, 12, whatever. So, we go to 15. compared to going to three. So you'll notice that just by simply doing that, you can flip between each one. So I can go, um, for this certain part, I want to use a tuba, which is channel eight. So you just go into the piano roll, click up here, um, whoops, find channel eight. It's just that simple. So um, you can see here I've got other little bits and pieces happening. Um, now that's channel 16, which I've, whenever you click on one, you'll notice that it will switch to that color. Um, 
and then so yeah that was the harp so that's where you get the little harp piece from <laughs> Um, now, if you're wondering about some of the other bits and pieces, I have these strings here. I'll just solo them. Which are just default FL Studio uh, sample based strings, which I've just put on, you know, some effects on EQ and stuff. Um, I'll put a sub bass in there just to give it a bit of low end, and then I also have Magnus Choir. Where um, where I've added a bit more, um, you know, choir ambience to it as well. So uh, with all of that put together, you get this. Now it's going to have some other bits and pieces in it as well, uh, but it's just to give you an idea of how it's all kind of fits in. Um, as well as, it will, I'll, I'll let it play into the, into the actual drop and stuff a little bit. It's a really old tune, it's not mixed and mastered properly. You can see obviously I've stopped working on the tune pretty much. Because, um, oh, um, anyway. Um, and that's simply because I ended up changing it to what is now known as Drop Dead Gorgeous. But I might release this electro version, so this is actually kind of... A real big sneak peek into what the electro version of this sounds like. A lot of people haven't heard it, so um, I'll let it let it play from halfway through the build up, and then I'll let it play for a little bit of of the drop, and then yeah, we'll conclude with that. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that, that concludes this tutorial on how to set up um, multiple MIDI channels, um, instruments, and how to use them. Um, so, yeah, hopefully this helps you guys out, um, and hopefully will help um, boost some ideas and get you guys creative with some new tunes and stuff. Um, so, yeah, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And... Um, I look forward to seeing any more requests as well that um, you guys may have. And I'll do the best that I can to um, fulfill them all. Cool. Okay. Bye.